it appears now that those important journalistic challenges were never made. It's not up to me to make a judgment. We're there to report what their claims are and hold them up to scrutiny uh, and, and investigate. In August 2002, ITV reported a warning by Vice President Chen that Iraq would soon have a nuclear weapon. And that was nonsense. But it was presented uncritically as news. Wouldn't you say that that contributed to the, the invasion that happened the following March? It might have done, but with respect, not our fault. I mean, I, I don't believe that you're suggesting, are you, that we should completely dismiss the words of arguably the second most powerful man in the Western world. We uh, reported no, it. We didn't necessarily agree was, with it. We reported it and, uh, uh, and allowed our break up their minds as to whether this was about telling the truth or not. No, but, that, but that's not fair on viewers, is it? Because they may not know what we as journalists know or ought to know, that this was an extremely well, dodgy yeah. politician well, who was making, it, was making extraordinary claims. If we knew it, we should yeah. have said so. If we didn't know it, we can't. And that applies across everything. Um, but if that's what we're doing, we should take things at face value. We should do our best to investigate. But when we do know, we should tell our people. Of course we should. That's part of the, the process of being uh, a journalistically based organization. I mean, I was thinking of, uh, of Blair's many statements. One, on the 29th of January, 2003, ITV News reported Blair is saying, we do know of links between Al-Qaeda and Iraq. These links, as you know, didn't exist. I mean, we're getting into the realms of, of, of sort of semantics now, but... It, well, you, they're very important well, no, semantics. You, you use the word links between the two. Your quotation, not mine. Well, I think that was the quotation from yeah, ITV News. Yeah, 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 I'll tell you that. Links. Now, links can mean a thousand things. It doesn't necessarily mean a bond of support. There were no support. links. Well, I, look, I'm sitting here across you. You're telling me that. I would say to you, well, show me that there were no links. Show me that they've never... Of show course. me that they've never... Even those claiming links said there, there were no links. Any communications of any kind between those two organizations. Come on. It's impossible to do that. And he chose his word carefully. And of course... Well, they're not careful. We do know of links between Al-Qaeda and Iran. Yeah, but the word links could mean a thousand things, is the point I'm saying. And you're not suggesting, I'm sure, that we shouldn't have reported what the Prime Minister was saying. You were talking about semantics a little while ago. <laughs> well, I, I find it virtually impossible to believe that Britain could have got away with the invasion of Iraq um, if the media has been doing its job. When Blair was standing up and saying our, our, our policy in the region was to bolster, bolster the forces of 